And on that note, it's been quite a week for sports in Portland, not only with today's soccer announcement, but cities also hosting NCAA tournament action for the first time in decades. And tonight, Portland State took the national stage for its March Madness game against Xavier. And I team Scott Burton wraps it all up for us live from the Rose Garden. Scott? Well, John, it's debatable. Last time Portland had a sports week like this, maybe it was 1992 when the first Olympic Dream Team came here to Portland to play Venezuela. Maybe it was the second week of June 77, right after the Blazers won their championship. We all have our favorites, and for many, this week is going to be one of those. It all began with a buzzer. For the first time in 34 years, Portland hosted a round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Winning bracket. Only one lot. Tens of thousands of fans flowed into the Rose City to pack into the Rose Garden. Thousands more jammed local bars and pubs. The Pearl might as well have been Seattle. It was a dog pound of Huskies faithful. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great for Gonzaga. It's great for, uh, for uh, UW. And it's great that Wazoo's not in the tournament. Portland will be the 18th team in Major League Soccer. <laughs> For those not into hoops, how about football in the newest team in the MLS? The Timber Army learned Friday its faithful following is about to get a whole lot bigger. If you love Portland, as I do, this revitalizes an area of the city ripe for renewal and showcases Portland to the nation and the world. The announcement brings world-class soccer to Soccer City, USA and becomes the second in the Portland Sports Week trifecta. And to have it all happen all in the same week it's, it's just, uh, it almost like is like fate, like destiny, that it, it would happen this way. Of course, it couldn't end without one more national spotlight. For the second time in as many years, the Portland State Vikings made it to the big dance. They're not as fast. If we can run, get them tired, should be a nice second half. They kept it close, but the second half was not meant to be. Not bad, though, for a busy week, a landmark week, a highlight real week in the history of Portland sports. Of course, the tourney games are not over here at the Rose Garden. Tomorrow, Purdue takes on the Washington Huskies. Also, Gonzaga will square off against Western Kentucky. Back to you in the studio. Great way to start spring break.